Good afternoon everybody, I'm on Lowestoft Beach, it's very cold and windy, it's um, January the 16th and um, I'm in Lowestoft because uh, I've been doing my tax return, I've done that now, I've paid my tax, uh, quite a lot of money, um, but I'm also Another. Here are my bags <laughs> and then I've got extra bags for Cambridge so I need to somehow carry all of this on the train. We're stuck in traffic now. A bit annoying. We've got through the main bit of the traffic now and we're just on Lowestoft Bridge. going to Auckland with Pete Brewer and I'm going to Heathrow to go to New Zealand. Right, so I've just been picked up by my chauffeur Cameron here, here he is, and uh, I'm in, in the car and we're on our way to Heathrow Airport. Okay, so uh, Cameron's telling me the history of my ancestral village up in Pakistan, like, so what are you saying? So they, they are very good goals. Uh, Blacksmith. Yeah. So they made one bridge in Pakistan, which was uh, a suspension bridge yeah. ages ago, and it's still in function. And they haven't done no repair to that bridge. Oh, wow. So the people are very skillful in that region. It's a small place, yeah. but most of the people they was goldsmith. Oh, wow. I mean, sorry, blacksmith. Wow. Yeah, it still is. Yeah. So which village are you from? I'm from city, Sialkot. So yeah. I've been to that village, but it's been a long time ago. I was here about 30 years ago. Yeah. I went through from there. Yeah. And it's, it's a small village, but yeah. very wealthy. A lot of wealthy people oh, live yeah. there. Because most of the people from that village, either they are in Middle East, or they are in UK, or in US. Yeah. So uh, very oh, wealthy people. Wow. That's good to get a different perspective on it then. Right, so we just arrived at Heathrow Terminal 3 and my driver's gone out to get me a trolley because I'm, my backpack is a bit heavy and I can't be asked to carry it, so I'm getting the trolley. Here he comes. Right, here we go. We're going into Heathrow Terminal 3. Toilets and uh, here for them. 
<laughs> I get oh, some sort of perfume, like refreshing towel, dental kit, lotion, <laughs> hairbrush, scantle, and a little bag. Wow. Here we are in the, in the onboard lounge. Dinner on the business class flight here, prawn cocktail, and some oh, lovely olive oil and balsamic vinegar there, a bit of butter for my roll and my salad. Oh, very nice. Getting a bit sleepy after like, I don't know, three course dinner and a million different wines. I'm gonna think about having a nap soon for the rest of the four and a half hours until we arrive in Dubai, and then a couple of hours, and then another 16 hour flight to Auckland. So in a minute, I'm gonna stretch the bed out, get the duvet down and have a little nap. <laughs> right, here we go, look. I've pressed this button here and, and now I'm like actually lying down flat, totally flat, there's Pete over there, <laughs> totally flat, absolutely flat, going to sleep now. 